Okay. Can you able to see my screen now? Yes. Okay. So do do you have any working experience as Oracle DJ? No, I'm working as Oracle application developer right now. Okay. Only the Sure. So here, like uh, for the app DJ consultant, mm -hmm. what task you are going to manage? So already you are in that platform only as a uh, technical consultant. Okay. Yeah. So we have one more functional consultant and this administration. So here you are going to manage the administration task. So how to prepare initially, a system admin will prepare the release operating system. On that one we need to install the application either in single node or multi node installation. Okay. Single node installation means your database as well as the app application services within the same machine. But some organization will have a policy. They want to keep the database on separate machine and application on separate machine. Then we can go for multi-node installation. As number of servers we can implement it. So in database, DB, DB tab, your database and database listener will be there. Okay. In the application tab, you will have your concurrent manager server that will integrate with the database for input output of each and every transaction from your database. Okay. Okay. We have web server, Apache server. That's your web server, the web hosting. You will have OC4J or a like container for Java. This application is built on OC4J form based. OC4J? Form server. Yeah. Okay. As a developer, you are much aware of OC4J and form-based development tasks. Okay. Yes, but, but right now it is, it is, it has been upgraded to WebLogic, right? Yes, so no, WebLogic. WebLogic is updated, but still Oracle Container for Java is there. Some okay. business modules are in Java. WebLogic is like publishing the website. Mm -hmm. It integrates with Apache, Apache with WebLogic. Yeah. Apache, what is doing here, it just publishes the website. Okay. Web logic it will do business transaction, deployment of every transaction, business. When you click any tab, so after logging to the application, that web logic is published. Okay. Okay, then we have application listener. So these are the services will be there. So you need to understand the file system. Database are app that where database is the files and all modules are installed, the location of all the modules. Then how to start and start the services. Either with script or traditional method. Okay. Then you are responsible to apply patches. So here not only for application, for the database also you need to apply the patches. Okay. Okay. So all I can release some patches. You need to check out, or if you have any organization register email, which uh, or I can use this update. What latest patches are there and how to apply it. So it's a little okay. bit lengthy process to apply the patches. Then performing upgradation. If organization really need it, lower version to higher version application database. How to upgrade it? Okay. Performing cloning. Uh, cloning like. Production environment, the organization need on testing environment. So, same database and same application on other machine for testing purpose. That's some kind of okay. environment. Okay. So, we have different types of cloning, online, offline cloning will be there. And that's one different scenario, single node to single node. Single node to multi node. Multi node to single node. and multi node to multi node. Okay. So there are different kinds of cloning you are going to see how to perform post cloning, pre installation cloning steps, how to perform it. Okay. Then on the application task uh, like uh, how to create uh, application users, assigning privileges, that is your responsibility. Mm -hmm. Configure their uh, printer configuration. Okay. Then compilation process. So you will be aware of the compilation process, okay, mm -hmm. custom application and report process. So as a developer, we are going uh, 
the compilation process for the custom application. Dot SMB, dot SMX, we are aware of, I hope so. Yes? Okay, nothing, nothing. Yes. So, like the normally the flow process to say customization, so that one need to be integrated with the application database. So, that is called compilation process. For custom application, process with a single click, multiple tabs can be opened and the reports can be set out. Okay, perfect. Then, backup and restoration. So, backup and restoration normally, like if you know the Oracle DB, the same process. Mm -hmm. For the application, simply the entire uh, partition we need to take the backup. But for the database, there are different import export logical and there's automatic schedule backup will be there. If you know Oracle it's the better thing. If you don't know, that's not a problem. You can manage it. Okay. So mostly the database backup will be there. That's a regular basis. And the, on the application side, if there's custom uh, compilation process, some changes are there, you can plan it the next day the backup. Okay. The entire folder needs to be taken back. It's not hardly more than 30 GB will be the application. Database will be increased. It depends on your application is increased day by day. With installation only the database size will be 50 GB. Okay, sample all with sample everything is 50 GB only. Once it is work, working in one minute, it will go in more. Depends on the organization transaction. Okay. okay. So as I have seen here, these are the things we are going to manage. So uh, initially how to prepare the server, then how to create users and assigning them privileges, performing backup and restoration, compilation process, uh, apply patches, performing cloning. Okay. So okay. apart from this, if you know the Linux, Installation also is the better thing because in training purpose I'm going to show you how to install the Linux for you. Okay. So to implement this scenario, I'm going to share two software, Level I and R12. Okay. Okay. Because packing uh, an upgradation will do Level I to R12. Okay. So that will be nearly both together 100 GB data you need to download it. And on your machine, whatever you're using, desktop, laptop, you should have at least 8 GB RAM. Okay. And better than have 1 GB hard disk. Okay. If not, at least 600 GB should be there hard disk. Okay. So you can, we can implement all kinds of scenarios. So we'll use a small VMware, like you can see here, it's a VMware workstation, virtualization. If you already have VMware, that's the fine thing, as I'll share the software with you. Okay. So without disturbing your Windows environment, you can make a lab setup on your machine. Okay. But the setup okay. should be like, uh, this is configuration required. And performance depends on your CPU and the motherboard setup. Uh, okay. So, it will be also the last part of time, but uh, prerequisite 8 GB will have good luck. All scenarios we can implement. And it's 1 GB hard disk free space. Okay? Okay. So as an RGB consultant, like administration part is simple. It's not like a uh, developer track. Okay. So installation, configuration, maintenance. Okay. So you are supporting the server and once it is go for the live environment, you should have the backup and supporting to employees and whatever the developers, consultants are there as per the request you are supporting. Okay. And so uh, there is a lot of difference between DBA and uh, this apps DBA, right? Because in apps DBA you use a lot of backups and everything, right? No, no. DBA is purely the database. In the database, your physical file structure will be there. Control file, you do log data file. Okay. Okay. If you have a proper, proper code will be a part also, it will be an advantage to manage the Oracle database. Okay. The structure of databases will be there in that one. So here, when AppDB directly you are performing the backup without understanding that structure. You will okay. get to another backup and restoration process. So there are, there are so many AppDB. Other who don't know their infrastructure of database, but still they can manage their job. 
Okay. Okay. So code DBA part means like they are going to manage the data files, control files, review log files, automatic scheduling, okay. the backup, applying patches on database. Database cloning is different will be there. Disaster, failover concept for the database, instance failover, that different concepts will be there. Okay. Okay. So as DBA, you are going to manage the application as well as whatever the task you require to manage the database that activities you are going to perform. Okay. But uh, there are some organizations are there which will go like AppDBA consultant will take care of all the application and the DBA will be different for that application. The database okay. will be taken care of the DBA. The, that scenario is also there. depends on the organization. Mm -hmm. So, any organization do you have DBA or a DBA team? Yeah, <coughs> I have uh, in my organization there is one DBA. Or I can DBA. Yes, Savan, can you hear me now? Hello? I cannot hear you, Savan. I think your mic is not working. Uh, hi, Shavan, we are not able to hear you. Hello? Yes, Shavan, are you there? Yeah, he, he is able to hear us, okay, but we are not able to hear him. Yeah, his mic is not working. The headset yeah. are fine. The mic is not working. Yes, yes. All right, Hello. Yes, Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, Sarvan, uh, uh, the supporting uh, consultant will forward the details of the course contents to you. Go through the course contents. Okay. 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 And uh, supporting will update when we are going to start the session. Okay. Sure, sure. Sure, thank you. 